Hey guys, Sim Spencer here. Today I have a unboxing and review of the Nutrient Gladius Air. Um, this was sent to me by Nutrient. Thank you very much, guys. Um, basically, this is a iPad case for the iPad Air. You can see on the back that it says it has like the iPad Air. 360 turning, and this is supposed to be a rugged case that's used for iPads that you don't really want them to break. It's really tough, and it's on the side it says heavy duty case for iPad Air and from Nutrient, enhancing your mobile experience, and it's made with rubberized weatherproof, weatherproof, weatherproof outer shell. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. Have not opened this yet. So it's got two little tape things. Come on. There we go. Kind of tore the box there a little bit. It's okay though. So when you open it, you can see it comes in a plastic wrap. And you can see the actual Gladius case. Let's put this out like this that aside and this is the little booklet that kind of gives you some information about it um, it's got some directions stuff on how to install it or, or whatever you do so like I said it comes in this little plastic cover thing and it's got a little sticky seal that you can just open up like this comes out nice and clean. There's a plastic overlay right here which protects the screen. Uh, it's actually a plastic cover for the screen as well. So automatically I notice this leather strap on the back and it's a bit loose. I don't know if there's a way to adjust it or not. Um, let's see. So it looks like you've got your two speaker ports down here. Get this out of the way. Two speaker ports down here and a little thing that you can open up to charge it. That looks pretty cool. I like that. So you won't get water in there if you are out in the rain for some reason. Uh, it's got a little rubber power button thing and here's the volume button and the switch which also has a little thing that opens up. There's also a little port here, and the camera hole is right here. So, like I said earlier, there's a leather strap on the back that you can hold on to. Um, but, to me, it feels a little bit loose. Uh, maybe that's just because I have very small hands. Um, but, I'm not sure if you can change that or not. Let me, let's open it up. Let's see how you open it. So it's, oh, I, I think you can adjust it. Okay. Uh, so it says, remove the TPU sleeve by peeling it away from the internal hard case. So, didn't, I think we already did that. Is this the TPU sleeve? I guess. Okay. Uh, apply slight pressure in the small gaps. So, I guess right here. Where? How do you open this thing? All right, hold on. Let's see. Hmm. See, the problem with this is, um, a new trend actually sent this, me this so I could review it. So I am going to be critical about this. The problem is, right off the bat, I don't really know how I can put it in. Like, how I can put my iPad in. Apply slight pressure. See, this is what it says. Um, slight pressure. Maybe. Ow. Like, in here? What? What is this? How do you work? Hmm. Okay, yeah, this is this is hard. I don't know how you can actually get this plastic. 
like insert off. I'm not sure. Uh oh, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Oh, here we go. I hope I didn't break that little camera hole. Let's hope I didn't. Okay, so this, this like, plastic comes off. So, the, I think this is like the outer shell. And I, I might have been reading the directions wrong. That might have been my fault. But, um, and then this comes off. So... Now, can we open this? It feels, um, it feels a little bit, like, kind of cheap plasticky texture to it. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be like that, because I know you don't feel most of the plastic for the most part, but it's got kind of a cheaper plastic feel. How do you open? Ha! Huh. Here we go. So you, uh, there's two little tabs on the bottom. That you need to pull open. I think there's some on the side too. Yeah, like this. So foam insert. And let me go get my iPad to put inside of this. Okay, so it looks like there is a little peely thing. I forget what they're called. Like a film over top. So we're gonna have to peel that off. side and this is the inner shell and the iPad goes in here like this and then you can take the kind of top layer if you will and snap it into place I believe that's I believe that's how it's supposed to go and then you're supposed to put it back in this little outer shell. So already there's two layers of uh, protection against whatever happens to your iPad. So this part is supposed to go under here and over top of the home button. If you can see that. That's supposed to go over top of the home button. Oh, that's me. Then you can just pop it in all the way. And put it all the way around. It takes a while to put this in. I know my phone has somewhat of a silicone shell like this and then a hard inside. Um, and it's not nearly this hard. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this hard. Like, so you're really sealing it in. Not sure. But like I'm, like I said, I'm gonna be critical about this. Um, oh, I just noticed. Wow, there's a little eject symbol right there. Uh, okay. So now we're gonna adjust this back part for those of you who have small hands like mine. So, the little booklet says, adjusting and installing the leather strap. So, first, let me think. Oh, there's also an arm stand. That's kind of cool. So, how do we do this? Oh, by the way, this spins. Well, I thought it did. Never mind. Oh, that's made out of metal, too. Okay. Um, first, open the flap covers. Where are the flap covers? Well, there's a stand, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh. I have to go back in again and take the shell off. I'm not going to worry about that, actually. Um, because it says it on the instruction manual because I don't feel like taking it off again. Um, but it does have this little stand, which is pretty cool. Because you could sit your iPad right here and you can, like, do stuff on it. And then, if you want... It's pretty cool because it like comes out like this. You just pull this tab and it comes out. 
and I believe you can spin it. I thought you could. Apparently, it does not want to spin. Come on. Spin, please. There we go. So, you got to give it a bit of force, which I don't like because I feel like I'm going to rip the leather strap. Um, I apologize if I'm out of frame. But, you just have to give it a bit of a pull, which I don't like, like I said, because I feel like I'm going to rip the leather. But, it's pretty tough. So, you can do this and pull this out. And it'll hold it up for you. I don't like that it's not adjustable, though. I feel like um, if this was more, you know, you could put it to the angle that you want, it would be better. Um, as for the hand holder part thing, it's pretty good. I mean, I have little hands, like I said, so, I mean, it's not very tight on my hands. But for someone who has larger hands, it's definitely good. And like I said, you can adjust it. I'm just too lazy to do so. So, um, what we're going to do next is we are going to go outside. And it is raining outside. And we're going to go outside and test and see how rugged this case is. So, Hey, guys. Do I'm back. Uh, we're outside. It's really rainy right now. Um, and we're going to test out the Gladius and see if it truly is waterproof. Um, I won't be doing any serious things. Sorry, my... Ugh. Um, but I am going to sit it in the rain and see, make sure it's good, so, here we go. Oh, I'm out in the rain, and it's getting wet. Let me actually put it on the hand stand thing. It works really, sorry, I'm, like, under an umbrella right now. Uh, so if we hold it out in the rain like this, it's actually not working, uh, I'm not, I'm not saying it's not working. I mean, it's uh, it's working. Like, and um, there is like a layer on that protects the screen. So like, it is really raining. That's fine. There's actually a thing to cover the camera too. So if you're recording with the camera, then it won't get wet. So I'm actually gonna take it to the ultimate test. I'm putting down my uh, umbrella. We're going to go out. My camera's getting all wet. Um, yeah, it works really well. I'm impressed. And I like the leather because the leather won't get all gross. And another thing I like is that you can hold it on your wrist like that, which is pretty cool. Now my camera screen's all wet, but, uh, whew. all right, so that survives that test. Hey, guys, so, um, we were just out in the rain. And we test out the Gladius to see if it was actually waterproof. And I will be danged, it is. And we're going to actually open up the case to make sure no water got in. Uh, so we can prove that it's actually pretty good. So I'm going to do it the right way this time. I'm going to, over here, there's a little eject button. Or, I like to call it that, but it's most likely called something else. Then you just peel away this outer shell. I kind of had a negative attitude towards it earlier because um, I didn't understand how you take it off, but now it's actually pretty easy. So um, you take that, and then we're going to go under here. This is the this is the hard part. I think this is the one part that I dislike is getting the little lid. I guess it's a good thing that it's hard to get off. Because then you know that it's going to be sturdy when you drop it or something like that. Um, but I wish it was a little bit less difficult. Maybe if it had a latch or something. It'd probably be easier. Come on. Ugh. There we go. Alright. So first we're going to look in here. And... As far as I can see, no water got in. Um, you can see in here there's a bit of a gap. And I think that when you're holding it like this, because this part is exposed, uh, when you're holding it like this, water might be able to get in and touch the back of the iPad. But I don't think that's that big of a deal. So we've got that. That's dry. So that's 
that's good. Uh, this part is dry as well. You can see it's kind of like sealed around the edges. So you can't really get in through this part, which is good as well. So there's that. And then finally, the actual iPad itself is completely dry. There's a tiny, teeny little speck of water there, and I think that got in through that gap that I was talking about. Um, but otherwise, that's it. Hmm. Okay, good. So, um, before I finish, I just want to recommend to New Trent and people who buy this some of the pros and cons. So, I feel like the pros of this product is the fact that it can resist a drop or if you're in rainy conditions. Maybe if you go to outdoor sporting events, this would be the case for you. However, if you are someone who, um, I guess someone who doesn't really care about some, a sturdy case, I don't know if this would be the case for you. Um, I mean, it does come with some extra features, but I feel like this is really, there's no extra that would say, oh, I don't really do much of this stuff, but I would buy this. You know, there's no real perks besides the fact that it's waterproof, which is a, definitely a perk if that's something that you're looking for. But um, you just have to keep in mind what it's maintained. Uh, that made no sense. What is like, what its purpose is. Let's actually adjust this real quick. So how does this work? Um, so uh, Okay, so there's like little buttons that this latches onto. I'll just move it over to the second one, I guess. We'll see if this makes any size difference, because, like I said, I have really small hands, and um, I don't want to have... Oh, that's a lot better, actually. Um, so, yeah, you can tighten it inside, which is helpful. Like I said in the other video, you can hold it on your wrist as well if you need to, like, walk with it. I'm not sure if that's the intended purpose of it, but um, it works. So, now, another thing is the fact that it's hard to turn this. I said that earlier as well. So, maybe making this a little bit easier to turn would be helpful. Um, let me think. Okay, the other flaw I saw was um, this gap. Now, I did find... A teeny tiny bit of water that was like right here on my iPad. And if you look, right there on my iPad is where that gap is. So I think that if they filled that in somehow, uh, or maybe changed the design a little bit and made it so there was no gap there, then people who are really, really tense about not getting water on their iPad, that would cater to them a little bit more. Um, as for this little top part. I don't see any flaws with this. Um, I like how this part of the case actually comes over here and puts the home button right there. I really like that about it. It gives it a little bit more protection of it because, I mean, this part, this home button, there's not really any space between the button and the rest of the iPad, but I mean, I'm sure that some water could go in there, so it's nice that they have this little nub there. Um, I think the only other thing that I could point out that needs to be fixed are the directions. Now, I know I didn't read them right the first time, but I still think that, you know, saying remove the TPU sleeve, I don't necessarily know what that is. So, um, I guess just fix that, maybe, and that would help people understand exactly what they need to do because obviously you saw I had a hard time doing that. It might have been the fact that I was just a bit uh, absent-minded at the time. I'm not really sure. Um, and then just the part where you put this on like this. Um, I wish it would was a little bit easier to clamp these on. That would be helpful. But... Yes, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Gladius Air by New Trent. Thank you for New Trent to, uh, from sending this to me, and I appreciate it. And I will continue to be reviewing products. Um, I'll try and do some more real-life videos like this one. And if you like this, be sure to leave a like. Check out New Trent's website, and I'll put a link for that in the description. Also, I'll put the Amazon link for where you can get the Gladius on Amazon. 
Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you want more. And I will see you guys next time.